Hello and welcome to this review of the Voxlab Aquila S3 3D printer. The Aquila S3 is a classic looking 3D printer. So let's have a closer look at it. First of all, let's have a look at the size of the print area. The Voxelab Aquila S3 has a print area of 220 by 220 by 240 mm, which is a pretty decent size for most of your printing needs. It's not the biggest print area out there, but it's certainly big enough for the majority of prints. With a printer bed, it's not just the size that matters, but also the bed material. The Voxelab Aquila S3 has a PEI bed that is magnetic. It's a pity that it's only one-sided, but it's still very good to see that it's PEI coated. The bed also has a 25-point auto-leveling system to help you level your bed. If you prefer to level your bed manually, there are knobs that you can use to adjust the bed. The best option is to use both leveling options. Overall, I found the Voxelab Aquila S3 print bed to be very good for the price of the printer. Let's have a look at the extruder. The Voxelab Aquila S3 has an all-metal direct drive extruder. This is great for printing with a variety of filaments, including those that require higher temperatures like nylon or wood filaments. Speaking of temperatures, the printer's nozzle temperature can reach up to 300 degrees Celsius, which is perfect for printing with materials like nylon and polycarbonate. The Voxela Aquila S3 has a colorful and relatively large display. It's easy to navigate with a simple knob to control the menu. The screen supports two languages, English and Chinese. The interface is intuitive and user-friendly, so even beginners will find it easy to navigate through it. However, the software is not quite ideal. For example, when controlling the movement of the axis, you still have to confirm by pressing the knob after changing the value and then use the same knob to start adjusting again. Setting the Z offset is thus unnecessarily complicated. Also, if one accidentally holds the knob down longer, the item is repeatedly activated and deactivated. We once managed to bug the display by pressing the knob for a few seconds and the printer had to be turned off and on. One of the positive things is a slicer designed for printers from Voxelab. The slicer is called Voxelmaker and it's not bad at all. It's very suitable for beginners with 3D printing and experienced professionals will stick with their favorite slicer anyway. Another minor complaint is about the cables. The position of the main cable leading to the extruder is not very good and does not inspire much confidence that it won't get in the way. That's mainly based on the fact that it happened to us during testing. But because you now know this, you can prevent it by attaching the cables to the printer structure. Our test printer was a pre-production version, so this small detail and the knob related issues may be resolved by the manufacturer, but we are not sure about that. When it comes to print quality, the Voxelab Aquila S3 produces very good prints. The printer easily deals with overhangs and overall prints look like they come from a much more expensive printer. We were very happy with them. In summary, the Voxelab Aquila S3 3D printer comes with an affordable price tag, making it a very interesting choice for not much money. It has two options for transferring print data, USB and SD card. However, it does not have Wi-Fi connectivity, which would be nice. Overall, the Voxelab Aquila S3 is a solid choice for those looking for an affordable, easy to assemble 3D printer with a good sized print area and a reliable auto leveling bed. Print quality is very good, controls are not that great, but it's still a great option for hobbyists and beginners who want to explore the world of 3D printing without breaking the bank. If you like the printer, you can find a link to it below the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.